breaking Star Wars news. Dan and Dave, the co-producers and showrunners of Game of Thrones, have been hired to create a series of Star Wars films after they finish the final season of Game of Thrones. You did not hear me wrong. That is happening. It's the news. In this video, I want to talk about that news, why it is amazing, and why I believe it is going to be the series of films that finally takes us to the Old Republic era. Let's talk about it. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love Star Wars the way I love Star Wars, subscribe to this channel. We do all sorts of videos around here, including breaking crazy news like this. But before we get into it, I just want to shout out Brandon Potit, who got the nerd card question correct on my latest Black Panther video. You definitely know yourself when it comes to comic book movies, Brandon. So shout out to you, and we'll do another nerd card question at the end of this video and this is crazy this is absolute craziness i was actually working on some writing and there are very few things in the world that will take me away from time that i basically set aside to write this is one such thing dan and dave the co-producers and showrunners of game of thrones are going to be doing a series of star wars films after they finish game of thrones in 2019 so there's basically two things i want to talk about in this video specifically number one i'm going to talk about why i think this is such a good move for lucasfilm considering some of the problems they've been having with their fans and pr with directors and different things like that the second thing i want to talk about which we'll do in the back half of the video is why i believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that this will be Old Republic, that we will finally get Old Republic movies. They are the perfect team to capture making those movies. So first of all, let's let's talk about the hiring of these guys. Now, obviously, Game of Thrones is the biggest show in the history of time. It is an incredibly popular show. People love it. And Dan and Dave are synonymous with a lot of people when it comes to Game of Thrones and the show. This is such a good get for Disney because this just automatically comes with certain kind of expectations, a certain kind of flavor, just all sorts of stuff that you attribute to the brand of Dan and Dave will now come over and be established in Star Wars. Now, Disney's been in this weird sort of pickle where they're trying to go in new directions, they're trying to expand things out, but they, they need to hit certain metrics, they need to do certain things for fans, and they've honestly had a lot of problems with getting visionary directors. Here's the thing, Star Wars has a very specific mise-en-scene, it's got a very specific feel to it. They want to make certain kinds of movies over there at Lucasfilm, and when you go out and get visionary people, even when you nail it in the meetings and think you're on the same page, sometimes there will be conflicts with what you're trying to accomplish and the vision that said filmmakers have. So what's interesting about grabbing Dan and Dave is it feels like bold, not just because you're going after new creatives, but these guys are more known from the TV world. Now, it's HBO and Game of Thrones particularly has been heading in sort of a way where these are very, very large productions, cinema quality productions in a lot of ways bigger than most movies. And this final season is literally like six feature length film episodes. So they're basically making six movies to finish out the series of Game of Thrones. And so it will be very interesting to see those guys with that kind of a skill set take a chance on Star Wars movies. I I just I think this is a really good move. It sets the right kind of message. It's like, no, we're not going to exactly play it safe. We do want to go after stuff that people will get excited about that we can brand behind, but we are willing to take chances and do different things, okay? So, I think it really addresses that problem. I'm sure they've had a lot of meetings with these guys. I don't think either one of them, Dan and Dave or Kathy Kennedy, are the type of people to just be like, okay, we've had one meeting. This seems like a match made in heaven. Let's do it. So there had to have been a lot of meetings. I trust the process and I'm excited to see these guys take the reins of Star Wars and, and do something really, really creative. Now, 
Why do I think that this is so obviously going to be the Old Republic? Well, for a long, long time, we've been talking as a fan group here that the Old Republic and Game of Thrones have a lot of similarities. I've said this in several videos. Basically, you have different sort of power structures that can really be based around like bloodlines or tribes, and you have a structure, especially if they have Sith and Jedi at the same time, where there's constant conflict, truces and certain areas, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of trying to gain power through weird um, corrupt means. It is the exact type of stuff that makes Game of Thrones so interesting. Political intrigue, but with a lot of savageness. That's why it's so entertaining. So these guys, they already make the type of shows that showcase those those ideas and those types of tropes in a very cinematic way. So I think it just makes perfect sense that you bring the Game of Thrones guys on to do your old Republic stories. Everything from the scouting, from the shooting schedule, from the design, from the costumes, every part of that, these guys know people that can basically take their vision and put it onto the screen. So I think that that is what you're going to get and why it makes so much sense for this new series of films to take place in the Old Republic timeline. So that's what I'm putting my money on right now. But in either case, I just wanted to drop this video out here. Crazy breaking news, guys. Dan and Dave are going to be making a series of Star Wars films. I'm about to do a ton more videos about this. I'm going to sit down with James and do a video here in just a minute. But I wanted to get this news out there for the Den of Nerds fans Holy cow, what do you think is going on here? What do you make of this? Do you agree this is a good move from a PR perspective? Does this sort of give you a little more faith in your Star Wars if you've been sort of hurt by The Last Jedi? And do you agree that these guys are perfect to go and play in the Old Republic? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. But I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, let's check that nerd card really quickly. I want to know what is the name of this famous Sith Lord from the Old Republic era. He would siphon off force energy like a vampire. Very, very cool stuff. What is the name of this Sith Lord? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!